Okay, who is ready for some Rogue's Tell 2.10? I am Fire. This is my full playthrough, part 5, of Rogue's Tell on a new account. Um, and so I just did a dungeon reset. I first stayed at the inn, and then that allows the reset dungeon button to be um, active. And my encounter percentage went up to 17%. Um, I looked down at the dungeon floor, and this is what I found, um, a maze floor. I do not like maze floors, they are my least favorite floor in the entire game, and so I am going to do another in reset. I really want to buy, um, this Ring of Immunity. Um, so I, I already sold a couple pieces of armor. I'm going to um, sell some more. Um, I'll sell this. Yeah, I probably will just sell this flail. Uh, but I do have plenty of armor slots, which is good. I got three more. So I can sell all of this extra armor. That way I can buy the ring. So I can definitely buy the ring of immunity and... Yeah, so let's sell the flow. All right, now I get a decision. Chain armor or plate metal? What do I keep? Because the problem is if I keep the plate metal, let's see, what is it to repair? 40. Used to be 80, so I'm glad it got reduced by half. Um, hopefully this time I just will pay attention to my armor or I won't get unlucky and it will get broken into attacks. So yeah, I'm gonna identify and sell the chain armor. I'm filling up the shop since uh, I'm going to do a reset because um, one of the things that happens when you do uh, stay at the inn is all of the items get um, re-rolled. Um, so anything you sold um, disappears and you get a new uh, fresh shop for all the categories. And so, yeah, I really, really want to buy this Ring of Immunity. Double checking, I don't think there is anything that was more pressing. Uh, ooh, I will buy this too. Yeah, so I got some uh, bleed protection. So if I get bled, um, I will drink that to um, remove the bleed effect because if it's a higher bleed effect um, I'll just die because um, it I feel the higher bleed effects stay on way too many turns okay so I got the ring of immunity now uh, I'm very happy about that I will oh I screwed up darn I keep on making these small mistakes I forgot to re-equip this probably with everything I sold that's probably at 20 to 30 gold that is actually a very big difference um, darn, really, really mad at myself. Bad fire. Okay, yeah, so let's reset the dungeon. Let's double check and make sure there was no alcohol. Uh, so stay at the inn. Darn it, no alcohol still. Um, that troll's blood, actually, I probably will buy. Okay, wouldn't mind getting a ghost form, so if I have to go over spike pit traps. Yeah, for the most part, I want to stay with the armor I got. Um, don't need paralysis immunity um, necessarily, but it's it's good to have. Um, the end game enemies can have paralysis on their weapons, um, but that's why earlier on it's not as big. But the blood caps do do paralysis, so that's that's the main reason. Okay, so we got a ravine floor, and it's not a lava ravine, so that's good. Though I would be safe doing a lava ravine floor as far as um, worrying about um, dying, um, falling into it. Because if you you can get confused and run into the lava, or you can get feared and run into the lava. So you always want to have those two. Okay, so this guy's obviously aggressive. Um, oh, I think that one might be friendly because they were attacking this dude. Wow, four and six daggers. Get two piercings? 
shoot i couldn't see exactly what ran across my screen it was going going way too fast okay let's see they probably are aggressive yeah okay so once they get on that bridge i should be able to hero up charge them Ooh. Um, okay, so I might be okay. What else do I got? Leeching poison. I'm going to drink some booze. Or do I just want to do the clotting? No, let's do the booze. Oh. Never mind, we're going to do the clotting too. Um, oh, right, I can equip the immunity so it um, doesn't do the effects. I forgot about that. That way I can rest up. Wow, that archer is nasty. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to switch, leave on that when I engage this archer. Because it seems like they have poison on their weapon. Oh, actually, that's not that big of a deal of a poison. They should be running out of ammo soon, so if I'm this far away, it should have a really hard time of hitting me. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. All right, let's um, redo the equipment. My yeah, house so far has been pretty eventful. Wow. Okay, so I got a stack of three questionable food. I want to find out um, if it's useful. All right, so I'm just going to clear the floor and then come back around. Um, right, I need a hill. I'm having such a hard time getting energy because of the uh, poison. There we go, now it's about to wear off. I still want shadows because I'm not that strong, so it's nice because I can then um, like stay hidden and hill up and do damage with Radiance. So, ooh, two chests. Okay, I really, really hope I can clear this floor because that means two. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I don't need to clear. Right. We got the Ring of Immunity. So I close that door so I can see if anything um, breaks it and then I, I know an enemy's coming. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good boots. Okay, lots and lots. Okay, so I'm going to drop the food and water that's identified for the moment. Um, Re-equip the Ring of Shadows. Um, these will sell for a good amount too. What are my gloves? Okay, my gloves are blessed, so yeah, I don't need to worry about having these to get something blessed. Um, but those will definitely sell for a good amount. I'm going to make sure this time I equip the, um, <laughs> the Charisma gloves. Um, so I get money. Okay, there's probably still some stuff lurking around. Um, so with bridges um, on the water ravine floors, you want to jump over them because they break. Um, pretty sure it's with a critical modifier break. Um, so always jump over them. Lava bridges don't break unless you have something cursed equipped. So as long as all your um, equ equipment's identified or you have... Um, nothing that's unidentified um, you should be safe um, obviously if you have something cursed unequip it but that's one of the negatives of having something cursed is we'll make a lava bridge break okay so um, I got a schematic let's see what it's for freezing bolt okay bolts are this way so now um, I can craft um, freezing bolts which will um, apply um, the frost effect 
Okay, identify these and then make sure I equip the... Okay, they don't sell for as much as I thought, though. Still a good sell. Like, any of the gloves, bracers, boots, or shoulders that sell um, uh, for a decent amount, it's nice to identify them because this is really hard to fill up um, because these take up so little room. I think that's the only thing I'm selling for the moment. All right, so I want to get a new enchant on this. Um, and, oh shoot, come on. I'm gonna take the agility. That gives me a dodge. Um, also makes it easier for me to jump. It's not ideal. I'd 100 times rather have strength, but I need something. Um, okay, what do we have to buy? Oh, right, yeah, I'll buy this. Uh, make me vulnerable to fire. But if I have the amulet of radiance, it doesn't even matter because um, I'll be protected from fire. And so this is good if I need it on the hill up quickly, especially because my booze bottle only has one uh, swig left in it. Okay, that was a good, good, good find. Um, oh, I should probably enchant. Let's see. I really want to get a blessed weapon. That sword I got earlier would have been nice, but I needed the money at the time. Um, yeah, I don't care about slow immunity, um, but the problem is I'm not always having this equipped. Yeah, let's see the helmet. Okay, instant death. We'll take that. And then... The Spalders. Strength and Curses. So we're Stamina, Light Radius. Okay, so I need more Strength, absolutely. Um, and so my armor now, I can... This is actually... I'll probably stay with these shoulders. Um, and this way, um, I can get the Curse off of my chest. Actually, let's, let's do that right now, too. Well, hmm... Yeah, let's do the light radius. It sucks having the base light radius. Okay, now I'm going to clear the rest of the floor, um, probably, before I try doing much else. The agility will help me uh, jump over these bridges. Um, but also, jump's affected by the weight modifier, so if you're wearing plate, that's why you will have a very hard, hard time jumping. I'm just going to pick up the money for the moment. Okay, there's always some hidden rooms on these floors. Oh right, I'm back down to 10 stamina, so I'm probably going to do a uh, search. I think there's something around this corner. Maybe? Oops, I just slipped. I guess not. Okay, ravine floors are also never the last floor. There's always uh, more floors. Um, the only there is a exception if you're doing um, the quest to fight monsters and you get it on a ravine floor. Those are always only one floor. All right, so I got soul gems. Um, yeah, I'll pick them up for the moment. Um, so this one's a crafting material. The black ones just have various uses. Um, which one of them's for the the bloodlines? And then um, bloodlines. Oh, what am I blanking? There's um, yeah, there's three uses for them. Uh, so also for curses, if you click it, you'll get a named curse. Okay, yeah, let's do the evasion. So I'm curious if um, these are vulnerable to fire. Let's see if this stills the fire. Ooh, it did. Nice. Okay, that was good. Awesome, they are vulnerable to fire. Um, 
Yeah, let's see the evasion. Okay, they're both gonna do fire. So this one, I'm gonna polymorph. I should, yeah, I should avoid getting set on fire, so that'll be good. the weed. Darn, everything I'm finding has to be damaged. Okay, these suffer a decent amount, so we'll pick those. Oh, wait, I was going to wait to pick up pretty much anything. Um, finally, I can test um, the food and water, and I accidentally forgot I left, um, left my some of it back there. Oops. Go back and grab it. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Actually, I'm just gonna do this one for the moment, and this one for the moment. Okay, rotten food's pretty rare. Uh, blood caps, on the other hand, seem to be pretty common to be rotten. It's kind of annoying. Okay, nothing up this way. That enemy obviously died on that spike trap. There's usually a trap. Yeah, there we go, in these ones. Okay, I'm going to unequip the armor. There we go. That way if I fall into it, it'd be easier to get out. Usually there's an enemy in here, let's see. Uh, oh, nope, no enemy. Oh, more troll's blood. That's good. Okay, equip the ring of immunity, and then hopefully it doesn't take too many turns. Wow, that was fast. Ooh, a, this is blessed. Hopefully it's a, a good ring. If not, it will sell for a lot. Okay, it's gonna sell for a lot. Okay, we wanna identify this too. Ooh, potent. So actually, I'm gonna store the diluted and then keep the potent. I probably don't need these little pieces of food. Oh, that chicken's been identified. Okay, I'll drop. Uh, I'll store it. I'm still not used to having the storage boxes. There they are. I was like, where are the charisma gloves? I didn't realize I left them on me. Okay, I probably should try some more enchants just in case um, I get a charisma enchant on something. Um, yeah, let's try this. The whole... Okay, and yeah, let's enchant elements too. Yeah, probably the light radius. Okay, so nine charisma is gonna give me 158. Very happy about that. Um, so I need to get blessed bracers, but I also don't wanna lose the confuse immunity and blessed gloves. Oh, no, never mind, I got blessed gloves. I was like, wait, no, I thought I had blessed gloves. Yes, I do. Problem is, a lot of these enchants are useful. Um, I might actually try to do the chest again to get strength or hit points. Okay, there we go. Because that's going to give me more block. Um, and that would be very nice.
Okay, so something I'm going to do, I'm going to stop worrying about getting the um, encounter modifier up. I'm going to drop uh, everything. Uh, and I want to make sure I have immunity on. Yeah, okay, I got immunity. That way, um, if I did something to get me poisoned, I'm safe from it. Oh, these I want to store. Keep on leaving those on me. Uh, the food will be fine without. Yeah, just everything. So I'm going to go through, uh, find the valuable items. And hopefully make a lot of money. No, those don't sell for enough, I remember. That's damage. Yeah, that's, that's not worth enough. These should sell for a pretty good amount. So I think the base ones are 50 gold to buy, I believe. anything semi uh target i might be able to get enough money out of because now that um it's only 10 to identify even though the sell prices all got changed it can still be worth it to um identify something that like buys for 40. you know though i don't want to do another trip so i'm gonna get rid of that Can I make room for the... Yeah, I should be able to... Here we go. Want to get this sword. Okay, confuse, paralysis, sleep, and blind. Yeah, okay, so I got all the poison immunities. Um, so I can eat the blood caps and not worry about it. And I can pick them safely with the uh, ring of immunity. But yeah, so it's going to be a little risky. And I forgot to switch my gloves. <laughs> but um, I'm okay getting my um, encounter percentage up. Oh, let me double check. Uh, okay, yeah, I should have room for all those weapons. And what about the armor? Three armor. If I get a blessed sword, um, I might take that at this point now, because um, I should be able to get good at enchants on it unless I get unlucky. Oh yeah, ooh, 32. Sell for a lot more than I was thinking. And I don't need to do an end reset yet. I sold everything that was uh, worth anything. Yeah, so this next floor... Oh, I forgot these should be worth something. Totally forgot about that. I'll leave them there, though. And forget to pick them back up. Alright, back to the Ring of Shadows. Um... Okay, I'm immune to curse, so I'm not too scared of the skeleton mage. And we got lots of different races, so lots of enemies to kill each other. Okay, I don't like that they moved next to me. Ooh, we got some booze. That's good. Oh, darn, they're coming to me. Okay, orcs um, are very strong. Um, they can look at that. Fourteen. Literally, they can two-shot me at this point, which is why I want more hit points. Okay, I got another talent point. So this is the first level. Um, if you're trying to do the craft, not crafting the um, 
equipment heritages, um, you have to hit level 12. And so, yeah, the sword and buckler, like, would be the one I would do. But so I still need shield bash, sweeping blow, and crushing blow, um, which three of the four I would use because um, the shield bash is nice, as I was saying, for the defense. Um, so at 12 strength, I can get a 12 deflect modifier. Um, but uh, I don't, in general, use sweeping blow. Um, it's really good with infernal bloodline, but that's like a you know end game kind of thing. The bloodlines um, can't really do them very very easily early game because each time you gotta kill a monster and then either find a lock chest or a loot hoarder um, to get the blood script. Okay, we're healed the full. And so far, the rest of this area looks okay. So never drink potions randomly. Like, most of them are, are uh, poisons and so um, that you find in the dungeon. And so if you drink them when they're unidentified, you will... Well, you'll drink it. The thing is, you don't know to apply it to your weapon. Okay. I'll definitely want the Wand of Inferno. This is definitely a nice uh, find. And this protects me. But the battles get way, way harder. Um, and so it's good. Like, I'm starting to get some good cards now. Does it take off of Evasion if I get hit? Let's see. No, okay. Decoy goes first and then the hidden. But yeah, notice how much quicker the battles are going now compared to what uh, how quick they were going. Um, and that's thanks to all the good cards I'm getting. Okay, common card, snipe. Which I think all the gray cards just do damage. They don't do anything special. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the only way to get them to have their special effect is to ha um, use um, a scroll to upgrade them. So the scroll of enchanting that upgrades a card, and there's a green version too that costs zero. Um, the gray one is costs one energy. No, I'm just gonna drop this arrow. But yeah, so I, I really got to get my life up. I, I might do some enchants here. Um, remove, like, possibly the charm. Um, the paralysis. Yeah, the charm and paralysis um, I could do without. And then I technically don't need this, but I'm not always having the ring of immunity on. So if I get blindsided... thought I heard something. Yeah, let's see. They are aggressive. I'm gonna let them come after me. Hmm, two scrolls, I don't know what they are. I kind of want to go back to identify these. Um, cause a scroll I would love to have is a scroll of teleport. A wand of shifting would even be better, but I'd take a scroll of teleport. Um, and then a scroll of polymorph. Scroll of light. Oh yeah, let's look at the, what do we got in the shop? Right, uh, junk. Scroll of gimme dat. Okay, so I could use this on an encounter boss. Um, like 
So switch, I would drop the spear. And then when I see them, I cast this on them and I'd steal their weapon. And that would, a lot of them, would make them pretty useless. So definitely something I'm going to hold on to. Okay, oh right, I had two unidentified potions. Probably don't need actually the second potion of antidote so i'm just going to carry this one and if i need um another one i'll use it because i got the ring of immunity so i'm safe um once i get a second oh a potion of insight okay that will um let me identify any items that uh i put on so any items i pick up um so if there's items on the ground and i pick them up it will uh automatically identify them while the effect from the potion of insights um, is working. Scroll of light. Um, this will uh, not only light the torches, but it'll give me illumination for a little bit. It's a low level one, so it won't be very long. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm like, oh, I got a lot of money. Okay, so let's try to get... I don't have fear immunity. Oh, I guess maybe I haven't got it on something. I only have it from the ring of um, fortitude. Uh, I mean, I could get more agility. Um, but I'm gonna leave the, the charm. I, I want more hit points. Like that's pretty much it. Trying to decide. No, I think I'm gonna stay with. Mm. So frustrating. Oh right, I got a garbage enchant on this. I forgot. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna do curses. That's that's better. Um, oh, never mind. I forgot. Okay. Whatever. That's a problem. Mercy the enchants. Um. Okay, so I don't want to go slow. Especially now, I can just like go around a corner and get blindsided. And like seriously, if I run into a bear, I'm probably dead. Might do literacy celestial. Start learning celestial spells. Okay, I was saying I'm going to leave. Start leaving dark areas. So since I don't have much light radius, I'm going to leave that area dark there. That way, if this is the last floor, I don't get an encounter. I like to try to do multiple areas. Let's see. Okay, that's going to be nothing. I was? Yeah, I was about to say, I was hearing someone move. Ooh, undamaged plate armor. Thing is, I'd much rather stay with mine um, because of the strength, and I don't want to re enchant. If I get some blessed. That would definitely be good. Okay, so I kind of want elements too, but I don't want to lose the fear immunity. So I'm going to switch to, oh, I have curse immunity. I don't need to switch to that. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to switch to elements off of shadows. That way I don't get um, frosted. And I'm going to just let it come to me. Uh, see, it ran out of energy. That's the power of elements and having, yeah, having curse immunity and everything. If I didn't have curse immunity, um, 
fighting one of them would have been really dangerous. Like literally at this point, if I didn't have cursed immunity, it would be, okay, I need to run away. Um, because that's how bad curses are. Okay, we got a schematic. Let's take a look at the next floor. Okay, so I know I can go explore that area back um, there since there's another floor. Okay, got another ravine floor. Nine with a rock. <laughs> Kidding me. <laughs> I have to say, I'm feeling like I'm not long for this world. I do actually at this point need to get like another um, amulet um, okay I think uh, I'm gonna stop here and um, I'll uh, yeah pick it back up because I was trying to have shorter episodes and I also need to think, um, so sometimes like literally I like to stop playing because I'm trying to decide my next quarter course of action so i'm gonna stop here because i'm not sure if i want to continue on in this dungeon um do some in resets to see if i can get um some other items um i do need to get the crushing blow um talent now so i can do much better damage attacking um all right so thank you everyone for watching um this is part five of my full playthrough of rogues tell and um yeah we're, we're starting to make some good progress um and this could be the game i make it to the end get to kill the king this is fire and we're on fire <laughs>